Hello, my name is Tony Lee, Tony Blake, and I am here at hashtag 1M Moments to share a very, very special message with you. Do you know what? I had the most unbelievable conversation with a butterfly. I did. I just want you to know that while I was hiking one day, um, I was on the trail to Hanging Lake. My kids kindly invited me on a one-mile hike. Oh, not really telling me or explaining to me that that one mile also included 1,000 foot gain in elevation. I don't really work out that much at the time and um, it was really hard. And as it was feeling really difficult, my husband and I came around this corner and we walked into a cloud of butterflies. It was awe-inspiring. There were all kinds of different butterflies and they were drinking water from the waterfalls and flying all around. And this one butterfly came up and it fluttered in my face and it stayed there for a moment as if to say hello. And I remember looking at it saying, hello, beautiful. And it soaked up the compliment and then off it flew up the trail. As that butterfly flew up that trail, I had been thinking, I'm so heavy and this is so hard. But as it flew, I remember thinking to myself, oh, I wish I had wings. It just looks so light and beautiful and it was just flying up the trail. And as if that butterfly could hear me, suddenly it turned around and it flew back to me. And I remember consciously for a moment looking around to see if anybody else could see the butterfly talking to me. But it came up and it fluttered in my face again. And I can't explain it. The skies didn't open up and another dove fly by, but I felt inside my soul these words, come on, you got this. And all I can say is in that moment, my heart got wings. And that is the very, very first time I felt that butterfly effect, that small wisp of wind, of change. And I remember thinking, wow, what a great idea for us to all look at. As a teacher, I'm challenged. How can we take this and repeat this? You know, my butterfly saying is, come on, you got this. And I believe that we can all create moments of positive change in our lives. I wasn't really an active person at the time that that happened. And my husband's a mountain climber. Climbing that mountain was very easy for them and for everyone who went along. But since that time and since that trail and since reaching the top of Hanging Lake, I've done a 5K color run with my daughter. I completed a triathlon and I set my sights on a summit in the Colorado Rockies in which my husband Doug helped me to accomplish. And none of that would have happened if I had not first got my wings on the trail to Hanging Lake. Now, if we look at how this happened and what happened, we'll find great help at a wonderful website that I love called heartmath.org. It's the HeartMath Institute. The scientists at the HeartMath Institute have been studying the relationship between emotions and the heart. And here's what they've discovered. That there is actually a measurable electromagnetic field that it comes off of our heart and it can be measured up to 12 feet away. And I will tell you that I have experienced it on a phone call, maybe even you right now, are experiencing it in watching this message, whether you're here with me live, are you watching this on YouTube? Do we feel that positive change of emotion? And what we know is that when I focus on I'm heavy and this is hard, it produces negative emotions and it actually creates in the flying world what is known as drag, I have been looking at what are ways that we can create lift and what are ways we can avoid drag so that we can take flight in our life. Once again, we can look to the HeartMath Institute to see that when we change our emotion, it literally changes the reading of our heart on electronic monitoring and it can even dampen down our immune system. There is not just body language, there is heart language, love, passion, intention. It is spread through our emotions to others and a very important decision for us to make in our life. 
there are powerful images you can go look at at the HeartMath Institute. And I want you to think about Googling HeartMath Appreciation Tools and Exercise and check it out. You'll see the amazing work that they've been doing. So right now, very popular in our society is emojis. We've literally gone from words to acronyms, LOL, to now just an emoji, but they show emotion. You know, research scientists have looked at the impact of trauma on the brain, where the brain is no longer able to process emotions. And what they've learned and what they've found is if the ability to decide is impaired, that logic only works with emotions. The example that they gave in the research I read was that a contract was put in front of an individual and they were given a blue and a black pin to choose and they were frozen in inability to decide because they were incapable of adding that emotion to it. I think it's important that we give great value to the emotions that we have and that we look at a mature approach to developing and growing our emotions. My intention, my purposeful goal today is to get you to choose positive emotions or to inspire you to choose positive emotions and to make it my list mission in life to start with you. Are you watching it? Are you feeling it? Is there a subtle, measurable lift happening in your heart? My daughter Ashley is fabulous and she brought me this book one time and it was about the butterfly effect. Now I had, she had no idea about my experience on the trail. I'm not sharing it. It's the first book she ever gave me in my life. And when I started reading about the butterfly effect, I was so inspired. The, the, if you don't know about it, the butterfly effect was coined by a meteorologist, Edward Lawrence. He discovered it in the sixties when he realized that in his computer weather programs, a small change change that was at the beginning could actually add a huge change at the end. When most, most mathematical theories are, if you add small in the beginning, you get a small change at the end. And so this was coined as chaos, the theory of chaos. He learned that the wisp of wind from the wing of a butterfly in Brazil could have an atmospheric change that could actually eventually lead to a tornado in Texas. Big gets our attention real easy, doesn't it? But the small moments in our life, those nudges from our gut, those whispers from our heart, that small voice of intuition that tells us something, sometimes just out of familiarity or unfamiliarity, we lean in or away from things in moments. I want to focus you on not just small moments, but on micro moments. Now, I love words and I love to define words, so I want to give you the definition of the word micro. Micro means extremely small, hello, yes, but it also means a measurement of units denoting the fact of one millionth. And since my goal is hashtag one million moments, I thought micro moments was the perfect word for us to use to describe these moments in which we give our life wings with a positive choice of emotions and just that small wisp of wind of positive change can take us to great moments. Do you realize that in the theory of chaos that what they're saying is that small little moments in our life can make a huge big difference down the way. Like for instance, what if your mama on the night that you were born decided to have a headache instead of your daddy? Because here's the thing, we know that moments matter. We love, most of us love to watch at the Christmas season, the story of George Banks and It's a Wonderful Life. And see, it demonstrated how where he's able to actually see what happened and the small things that he did, some of the big, like saving his brother in the ice, but even bigger in the sense that his brother then saved all of those men on that ship that later on in the second version did not live or survive because George wasn't there to save his brothers. Oh my God, you have goosies, I have goosies. Let me just say, we should not need Clarence to come down into our life and create drama. I'm telling you today that if you will make small adjustments in your life, pay attention to your instinct and do things that consciously and intentionally give you a lift, you'll add wings of positive change to your life.
Now, I have a very special little girl in my life. I have a lot of special little girls, but Megan, my great niece, is a redhead, and she is like my mini me. She has got a tank full of what are we going to do right now, and I just love her. When she was small and learning how to write, I bought her this little pink diary. Do you remember that, Megan? With the little key and everything. And one time she wrote on one of the pages, Tony is my favorite human. Oh my God, how precious is that? And so Doug, my husband and I, we love that. And so we adopted it. And so we always say, you're my, fav you're my favorite human being, by the way, right there. One of my favorite human beings. It's so important that we learn that our humanity is what we need to grow. And so I want you to know I'm starting human being school. I'm going to dedicate myself to creating education that inspires great human habit. For us to be not just humankind, but to be a more kind human kind and I'm starting it with my goal that I want to inspire you to join me on with hashtag one million moments let's elevate our humanity and I believe that when we develop our humanity we also develop our business sense we develop our personal relationships there's so many things that we can do I've already written the first six Human Habits with the Butterfly Effect. I've created a community, hashtag one million moments, where you're finding the message now or you're finding it on YouTube. I also created stickers. I love stickers. For those of you who follow me forever, you know that I've passed out happy face stickers and my face stickers and all kinds of stickers. So I have a sticker that says, you're one in a million. Isn't that cute? You're one in a million because they're one million moment. You can give these out. I just ordered 50 of them and it only cost me, oh no, I ordered a thousand of them, high gloss, real pretty, um, in color for $51 with the shipping included. And I'm going to give you a link so you can go order them too. I want to give you ideas. I want to inspire you with some tools, but more than that, I want to collaborate with you. I want to know what do you think should be included in the human school. I want to know what ways do you think we, together, in our humanity, can inspire wings of positive change. I want you to share with me and collaborate with me so I've got it started. Um, and, and this is a beginning for us, but I really want us to use technology and even print our, our, and, and our creative mind to create the most we can with wings of positive change. I want to close this message by sharing with you a quote from Vince Lombardi. He said, to me, a leader is a visionary that energizes others. This definition of leadership has two key dimensions. A, creating a vision for the future, hashtag one million moments, and B, inspiring others to make the vision a reality. I hope today I've done that. I hope today I've inspired you to join me on this journey, to add wings to your life and to others, and to hashtag one million moments in this world for such a time as this. While others are planning negative, let's plan positive. Let's add wings of change to people. Thank you for watching.